this moment, all over the world, there are people diving in the sea. Some work here in the oil industry, mining, communications, or other enterprises connected with the sea. Scientists and technicians, like those with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, are daily explorers and researchers in this still exotic world. To the Navy, it is another challenging field of operation. And to many, perhaps most, it's simply an adventurous, remarkable, and beautiful place to be. But know this, diver, and of course you do. You were not designed for this by nature. The laws of biology, physics, chemistry are against you. And there are pressures and surprises for even those best equipped to observe the laws and overcome those faults in nature's design. This is, after all, a hostile environment for all its beauty, for all the confidence with which you enter it. And this is something you cannot afford to forget. up yet. Little girl. Want to play house? <laughs> Let's <laughs> play fish and go in after him. <laughs> fish. Would you look at you? I mean, two diver lessons and you're ready to do sea hunt. Take it easy. The guy's coming up. You said to plunge in, didn't you? Well, are you coming or not? Nah. Throw me the fins. Oh, you want the fins, do you? Come and get it.
help me. Hold him. Is he dead? No. Can you do mouth to mouth? I didn't teach you. I know how. All right, sailors, this is our harassment phase of training. You have studied and trained for four solid weeks. Now we're going to see if you're really ready to handle an emergency situation underwater. Don't forget the number one rule of scuba. Stay with your buddy. If he needs help, you have to help him, and vice versa. I feel you're all ready. Let's saddle up. Oh, Chief Bolt. Yes. Okay, thank you. Lieutenant Benson? Yeah. Captain wants to see you as soon as we secure diving operations today. What's up? There's been an accident concerning a Navy diver, and they're going to have you investigate it. What happened? They found him unconscious, and a Coast Guard chopper has taken him out to the NOAA treatment chamber. You know what this exercise was about? It's so you learn you can handle any situation that comes up. you got to practice this kind of stuff all the time. So when something unexpected happens, you don't lose your head. Or your life. Emergencies will happen, you can count on it. Some Navy diver just got himself into a situation. I'm assigned to look into it, so I probably won't see you tomorrow. But notice, right away there's an investigation. We don't want any diving casualties, and time and money will be spent to prevent them. You can help. Preparation, practice, proper procedure. That's a mouthful of peas, but eat them. It's a whole lot better than a lung full of water. Excuse me, I'm Dr. Stetson. You want to see me? Dr. Stetson, I'm Lieutenant Steve Benson with the diving school. I'm here to investigate the accident to Petty Officer Boone. Mm -hmm. Can you help me? Sure. What have you been told so far? Embolism. Mm -hmm. Looks like he held his breath coming up, doesn't it? Yeah, it sure looks that way. We're not going to ever know for sure what happened. Is he going to come out of there? Well, he's regained consciousness, but he's still paralyzed from the waist down. I don't know when we're going to be able to start decompression. What was he doing out there anyway? All I know is about 1,800 hours yesterday, some people in the boat found him. He was alone. An inflated raft was found along the coast, but no one knows what Boone was doing out there alone or what actually happened. He was found without his air tanks, regulator, or weight belt. I don't think it's Navy gear, though, because none's missing from the diving locker. We're organizing a search tomorrow. Is that his gear? Yeah, but I don't think we're going to find anything wrong. Very rarely is it due to equipment malfunction. Hey, maybe he doesn't have any friends, Lieutenant. He's the kind of guy that held himself close. You know, not the social type. He just worked hard, didn't run the alleys, stashed his money. You know, that's something you might want to know. He stashed more than his diving pay. He told me once that he had a job teaching diving after hours in one of the civilian dive shops. Which one? I don't know, but how many could there be? 
There are more than 14 certified instructors working around here, Lieutenant. Somebody should know him. You wouldn't have a list, would you? Yeah, I do. Hold on a sec. Listen, we have an association. Suppose I try to get them all together tonight. That'd be great. I have a dive class at the Paz Motel at 7.30, and I'll try to round up the other instructors and see if they won't meet us about 10 o'clock. Very nice of you to do that. I'll do what I can. <laughs> Any of you know him? Just why is this so important? Is some kind of crime involved? Not that we know of, otherwise the police would be doing this. Now, what can I say? Diving is an important function of the government. Whether it's Navy or NOAA, safety is a prime consideration. That's why we don't allow decompression dives with scuba except in unusual circumstances. That's why our divers don't go below 130 feet. We want to know what happened in this case. What went wrong? to see if there's something we can do to see it doesn't happen again. showing any light. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. Are you catching anything? Nah, nothing biting tonight. I think I'm gonna call it quits and go on in. a jack stake and work ourselves right into the beach. What you're looking for is uh, scuba jugs, a weight belt, anything of that nature that he might have been wearing that he had lost. Any questions? Yeah, who's going in the water, Mac or, or... Okay, Matt and Pat will be in the water. You'll be the standby diver. I want you fully dressed, stand by. Okay, let's get our bottles gauged, get our regulators on, make sure they're working right, and we'll get it over.
Hey! <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> Beautiful! Oh. I could eat a three pound steak! You could, could you? <laughs> Sorry to spoil your day, but uh, we're gonna have to go in. Aww. Um, just undo the belt. With no air bottles. After lunch, have them continue to look for the tank. It's got to be down there somewhere. Okay. BC. Okay, thanks, Chuck. Bob Convey. That's the only one so far, and he took off to California a year ago. No help there. It still doesn't make any sense that Boone would be out there without a boat or another diver nearby. Hmm. There was a boat and another diver nearby. Of course there was a boat. I don't follow. The ones who signaled for help? Donna Levitt, Seymour Conrad. They even had air tanks aboard. A launch named Samantha. You know them or it? No, I don't. They left an address. Both the same. The Back Bay Motel. Well, here, good luck. Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, do you have a Donald Levitt or a Seymour Conrad registered here? I never heard of him, but I remember that Levitt girl. She came down here on vacation about a week ago. Do you know if she's in now? I know for sure she's not. She checked out yesterday. She originally reserved for two weeks, but she might be around someplace. Was she a diver? I mean, did she join some group here or some friends? Well, she mentioned about diving, and I showed her the wall. Excuse me. Do either of you know where I can find Donna Levitt or Seymour Conrad? I'm Donna Levitt. Miss Levitt, I'm Lieutenant Steve Benson, U.S. Navy. We're investigating the accident that happened the other day. J.L. Boone? Oh, how is he? I don't know right now. He's been moved to a hospital. You were out with Seymour Conrad on this launch here. Was Boone with you? What do you mean? He was out diving with you, wasn't he? No, he wasn't diving with me. We just picked him up. Come on, miss. You're not telling me he was alone out there. Well, I guess I am telling you. He was alone. Why couldn't he be alone? Is it against Navy rules or something? I'm looking for Seymour Conrad. Okay. Buck, somebody's here! Buck Conrad, B.C. What can I do for you, sport? Conrad, this belt of yours was found near the wreck where J.L. Boone was diving. Now, the man was almost killed, and the police might want to look into it. Hey, whoa, take it easy. There's no need for the police. Uh, 
What's the problem here? Who was diving with you? You? No way. I went out there at 6 o'clock to pick him up. <laughs> the guy came up, but not the right way. So, he worked with you here? Yeah, he worked here. He taught diving. Took out dive trips. It's kind of nice, you know. Uh, gave the place a little class. U.S. Navy diver. Why did he go down to that wreck alone? Why did he go down to the wreck alone? The guy was a treasure hunter. I mean, he was always looking for that pot of gold. All he wanted to do was explore the depths. Look, look, his group found that wreck three days ago, and the guy couldn't wait to get out there and check it out himself. Why didn't you go down with him? Come on, man. I had a date with a chick. I, look, I didn't expect him to find sunken treasure. I don't have the guy's interests or his imagination. Look, I got that tank and regulator. You want to check him out? Hey, sure I feel bad about, uh, about J.L. Boone, but, uh, like my uncle used to say, he's three times seven and he's big enough to make his own decisions, right? How about Donna Levitt or the other kids you sent out with two days instruction? Are they equipped to make the big decisions, too? Hey, Ronnie! Yeah? Where'd you put that tank and regulator I brought in last night? Donna took them. Where to? She went diving out on the reef. What's the matter? Lieutenant, Donna made two dives this morning before lunch. If she goes down again, she's gonna have to decompress. And she doesn't know a thing about it, does she? Come on! Darla, you'll Help. be okay. Help me. Yeah. Let's get your belt on, Doc. It was me and here, and he... And I wouldn't stop. Oh. There's something wrong with my leg. There's something wrong with my leg. Here. We're gonna have to get you back. She'll be all right in a few hours. Sure looks like an epidemic of trouble, doesn't it? He's like typhoid Mary, this one. Yeah, well, if I'd seen what Boone saw down there, I might have dragged the tank myself. What do you mean? Didn't anybody tell you? Your search party found a wreck down there and $100,000 of gold. <laughs> and my daddy taught me never to believe in fairy tales. Easy come, easy go. From what I said here today, you might wonder, is diving worth it? Well, sure, I don't think there's any question. There's work to be done. 
incredible, beautiful things to see. Even great wealth to be tapped one way or another. But preparing, checking, being equipped to cope when you have to. These things can't be overlooked no matter how experienced you are. The diver who doesn't value himself or herself enough to give it the best ought to be diving because someone with a better sense of worth may have to depend on you and get badly shortchanged. How's J.L.? You called the hospital, didn't you? He's doing pretty well. I'm sorry about being so smug yesterday. I kind of had to choke on my attitude. You going diving again? Mm-hmm. As much as I can. You still like it? If I think about the good part... What's that? Flying, like most people want to do. Flying yourself, you know. Just four days ago, Buck took me out to the Gulf for the first time. And there was a, there was a ledge, like a cliff. And I stood on it and opened my arms and just moved off. Somersaulted, turned, sailed down, and then up again, and I was flying. That's what it was. I wouldn't trade that feeling for anything. But I think I'll stay down here another week and take a full training course. Good idea. I really don't like being in a situation I can't handle, especially underwater. I want to shape up as a diver. You might consider joining the Navy. We wrote the book. <laughs>